In this Cinelera tutorial I will show you how to create a split screen video clip. I've assumed you have a basic knowledge of editing in Cinelera. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. I've also left a link to how to install Cinelera GG Infinity onto your computer. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, there's a few different ways you can create a split screen uh, video clip in Cinelera, but I found this way works quite well. So what I'm going to do first of all is just go onto the File tab and left click on it. Then just left click, sorry, start again, left click New. And what you need to do is decide on if you want any audio or not. So if you wanted say if you wanted to use the audio from one of the clips or to add some audio you'll need to have an audio track um, showing or not in this case because I'm not going to use any audio and then you need to decide how many videos you're going to work with so I'm going to do four so I'll take the video tracks up to four and then I'll left click on OK. I'm just going to whiz ahead and set this up a minute because I'm not going to go through any editing malarkey. So I'll come back to this when this is all set up. OK, well I've brought four tracks into tracks one to four or four videos into tracks one and four and I've set them up to be the same length as well. Um, and now I want to create my split screen uh, video. So couple of ways you can do this. One way that I found works quite well is to the left of the compositor viewer look for the button that says adjust projector automation and left click on this. Now you've got some options so first of all you've got the slider which is to the left uh, of the screen and you can increase or decrease the view and you can also move your clip around so if you wanted to make a random sort of video these are also keyframeable you can put it wherever you want anyway what I would do if I'm going to just try and get it down to the size that you want because the size change which is going to be in the z-axis or any of these are a little bit fiddly um, so I get, whatever you change your pointer must be in this box the minute you move it away nothing happens so I'm going to just take this down to 0.5 so you want 0 0.5 in the Z box now rather than trying to drag it in position you've got some justify buttons so let's say I want this clip to the top uh, left if I justify left justify and then top justify this puts this clip at the top left and once you've done that come to track one and you'll see a but you'll see a little red padlock and it'll say arm track just left click on this and you're ready to do your next one and again drag it down to a size which is pretty close to what you want with your pointer in the box just reduce the size down so again I've gone for 0.5 and this time I'm going to go top left again arm the track and we'll do exactly the same with the next one and this time I'll go bottom left and again make sure you arm the track come down to the last one so you can see this although you won't need to arm it really but won't hurt and again I'm gonna just reduce this in size take it down to 0.5 and I'll go right and then bottom And you can arm this if you want. 
OK. Now I've used proxy clips, so I've used low definition because it makes it easier to certainly play back if your computer is not very fast. So I'm happy with that. That'll do. So when you come to render, always turn off the proxies just as a reminder. So I'm going to turn this off, wait for everything to reload back up. Might take a few seconds or even a minute or two. And once you're ready to go, um, you, obviously, you're good to render your video. I shan't go into the details and whatnot. I'll just render this, and this will be the same video as you saw at the beginning of this tutorial. Hopefully, this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.